Hey guys, see you. You've created your scene, and if we go to the um, rendered viewport, at the moment it looks like that. I've got no lighting. The only light is from the emission shaders. I've you know these are just textures I've used. Um, so we want to light it up. If we um, just drag that across and create another window, and then open the um, shader editor. Close that with the N key because I don't need it at the moment. Um, right, so we want world, and if we zoom in a bit, we've got that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this on rendered view, so we can see what's going on. There we go. Okay, all good. So okay, so if we do um, a shift A. And add um, an environment texture. And stick it where we can see it. And just plug that colour to colour. There we go. Okay, and it will all go pinky purple, whatever colour that is. Right, so we need a HDRI environment texture. Um, you can get them from, if I just go open my browser, um, Polyhaven. Type in Polyhaven polyhaven.com will come up um, okay so this is the website that I use for all of my HDRIs I just do browse HDRIs it's worth throwing these guys a few quid there's so many to choose from um, so pick the one you want there's indoors outdoors light dark just pick what you need for your scene if you're doing a night scene pick a night a night HDRI, simple as that. Uh, click on the one you want. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Um, okay, when you want it, there's options here. 4K um, is default, but there's 1 to 24 in this case. It, it varies depending on on the HDRI you choose. I've never used higher than 8. I tend to use 4. Uh, the higher you go, the more it will slow down your system. So be aware of that. Okay. Anyway, I've got some on my system anyway. So we will close that for now. So when you've downloaded your HDRI and you've put it somewhere where you can find it, open it up. Um, like I said, I've got some on here in my texture folder. And if I go to HDRI, which is where I keep them all, we will pick uh, Quantani. Quantani. I know that works because I've tried it. It looks nice. We'll go with that. Open image. Okay. And that looks pretty nice. Uh, we have options here. Um, firstly, if we go to, and what's this little tab called? The render properties. I can never remember the names of tabs. Anyway, if you scroll down in render, <coughs> render properties, there's a little film tab here. Click on that. And we can make the background transparent. So we're still getting the lighting from it, but we can't see it, which is great if um, we just want to isolate an image um, maybe animate it but we want to keep the light in and um, we can do it like that so anyway in this case we're going to leave it on but that option is there to turn it on and off um, we will leave it on right okay now I would hope that you've got Node Wrangler installed if you don't get it it's under preferences so edit preferences um, just type in Node and Node Wrangler is here um, it should be default in Blender. It's not, but so you have to install it manually. But um, yeah, certainly, certainly install that. It makes your life easier in the long run. Uh, like I said, it should be default, but it's not. So if you've got no Drangle or if you've just installed it, you can click on this image texture here and do Control T, and it will give you these options here. So you've got a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. And what we can do with this now is on rotation, um, we can move the HDRI around, which is great. So we can move the position of the sun um, just by just by changing the value on the Z axis on rotation, which is great. Really, really cool. Especially if you've got trees, things like that, you can have the sun shining through the trees. Yeah, there you go. Certainly get yourself a Nerd Wrangler and um, Control T will bring up these options. Anyway, 
there you go really really simple really really realistic lighting hope that helps speak to you guys later bye bye